Okay, so this is my current setup. As you can see, this is a little sad. That one's not too bad. Did not survive the trip very well. This one, the bolt actually came on loose, or the nut that holds it. So I find it frequently just kind of hanging on that. I have a plan for that in the future, but I'm gonna address the front ones for now, and I'll take a look at those. Fairly simple. Down here, there's four push pins. I've already removed three of them. Two here. Two here. And then you have one five mil there, and one five mil there. Obviously, you probably don't have a gauge there, but that's just what we're working with. So, to do this, I like to use an Allen wrench. Basically, you'll go through the center part, push that in. You can push it all the way in, so be careful. And then you should be able to just use your fingers, just like this, pull it out. Okay, once you do that, you'll have to undo the five mils. So I'll go ahead and get this set up real fast, and uh, we can go ahead and undo that and see where we are from there. Um, a little bit of a weird angle, so I'll be right back. Okay, so went ahead and got those two pulled. Pull the gauge out of the way. That way uh, I don't have to fight with this later. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to get this undone. So the way this works is right inside of here, there's basically like a thing that kind of latches in place. And then on the top, let me go ahead and show you. You actually have these as well. Now, what you're gonna have to do is do kind of a lifting up motion that way while pulling back that way, okay? Both sides. Inside of here, these little collars can fall down, so make sure you don't lose those. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this up real fast without making too much of a mess. is already dropped. Now, it's not a big deal, I can get to that. Let me go ahead and show you what's going on right here. So, inside of here, I forgot that there's also these wings. These have to be depressed. So you have to basically grab it, kind of like this. You're pushing in with your finger while lifting upward, pulling out. So it's basically three movements at once. Now, I've got a lot going on in here. This is my ballast for the LED light. That's the fan. I should probably check and see if that fan still works, to be honest. Um, lots of wiring running through here. Wiring for my gauge. Uh, and I want to say I've got some other wiring in here as well. Oh yeah, these are my heater grips wire, or heater grip wires as well. Um, but the collar dropped. So as you can see right here, there's one color. You gotta look, I gotta look for the other one because it fell inside of here, so. But be careful when you're pulling on this because down here it's actually got a hinge. You don't wanna break this hinge or mess anything up, right? And there's that collar. It's actually inside of there, right there. So I'll fish that out here in a second, but this is what we're after, right here. As you can see, this thing is barely hanging on, first of all. It's already starting to come loose. This one seems to be fine, but we're gonna have to pull this out and look at the wiring situation. So give me two seconds and I'll be right back there with you. Okay, well, you know how I told you guys 
Hey, don't lose these pieces, right? The little eyelets right here. I just spent like at least 10 minutes trying to find one. Gonna find out it wasn't actually here in this hole. It was actually right there. So yeah, that was fun. Please be mindful of where this thing goes. Um, while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some of this wiring that's in here. It is a bit of a mess. Uh, it kind of always has been, to be honest. And so I'm gonna see if I can do some cable management. <clears throat> this comes off fairly easy. Makes more room, so you just kind of lift it up. Move it out the way, and then you can kind of work inside of here. This is the main headlight, as I talked about before. Literally just pulls up, and then you get your lower one down there, so. All right, let's go to the bench. All right, well, bit of a thing I gotta figure out. <clears throat> These come with a daytime running light setup. So as you can see, there's two different colors of LED. Um, I already have an LED relay, so hopefully that works. Uh, I was told that this has a built-in resistor as well, which is supposed to help, um, but we'll, we'll have to see. Um, but the concern that I have is that our bike doesn't come with a uh, daytime running light. So that means we're going to have to figure out how to get some power for the DLRs. Um, so I'm going to look and see if I can find some supplemental power that essentially will just come on at uh, with the ignition on. And then they should, in theory, just turn on. So I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. Uh, in the past, I've I basically just clipped the connector. Uh, I don't want to do that this time. Um, don't hate me. I'm, go I'm going to mix match some of these spade style connectors. They'll still work, um, you know, but one's for a larger diameter wire than the other and I don't have enough of both. So I guess they'll live in harmony together in this point. Um, out with the old. This is why I didn't like these. I'll show you. But real floppy, real cheap and generic looking. These are smaller, but I mean the amount of lighting available is I guess about the same. Uh, but aluminum supposedly supposed to be uh, weather resistant as well. So we will see. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just clip off the ends of pretty much all of these. And uh, we're going to redo all this, see what we can do. So just go ahead and lop them all off. I'll hit them with the catapults. And we'll crimp some new ends on these and uh, see what we can do. So this should be pretty straightforward. I went ahead and tested them already. These are eight, yep, 18 gauge. So we'll just... Skin them all real fast. 18 gauge wire. And um, hopefully with any luck, we'll be good. I, I'm a little concerned that there's gonna be some issues with, you know, either hyper flashing or super slow flashing. I guess it just kind of depends on the setup of the bike. Um, but we'll just have to see at the end. So harness, wiring harness wise. Obviously ground. Uh, white wire is the daytime running light and yellow is the flasher. This technically has a built-in flasher. In fact, it's supposed to, it doesn't just flash all LEDs. It kind of does it like in a row to indicate, hey, you're turning that way, right? So kind of a cool feature. Um, but anyways, for the sake of making these all the same on one side, we are going to put all of the female ones on this and we'll do all the male ones on the other side. So there's that and that. And this is going to go in. I'm not super concerned about uh, waterproofing, mainly because of the fact that uh, the Uh, hold on, let me get this set up. Mainly because of the fact that it is in the housing. 
So in theory, there shouldn't be any issues of that. All right, let's get this tightened. Did that work? All right, yeah, that was pretty solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all these. I'm not gonna sit here and make you wait, so we'll be back. All right, everybody, well, I'm back. And uh, yeah, took a little longer than I wanted to. I'll be honest, it's like four days later, but <sighs> let's just say there were some mistakes made. So um, I went ahead and put all these on and then it dawned on me that uh wasn't gonna fit through there. So these were too small, couldn't get them through the nut. So I had to cut all of these off. Then I had to go buy more uh, cause I didn't really think about it. And so ended up having to mount that first and then run the wiring, ignore this. I'm gonna get rid of this, but let me go ahead and explain what's going on here. Cause right now this is a hot mess. Um, so as I mentioned before, this is for the headlight. This is the wiring harness that comes with this. I also have this other wire. I borrowed some wire off of my uh, old turning signal that I just threw away. And uh, yeah, so ground, we have signal wire, and this is supposed to be for the DLR or daytime running light, right? Um, so power, so this harness here, which is completely out of place for probably a lot of you, this is for my heated grips, and I have this hooked up to what used to be the accessory power. What I'm hoping for is that between the heated grips plus these power lines going for the LEDs in here, that uh, it'll be able to provide enough power. This is accessory power, so as you turn the key on, daytime running lights turn on like they're supposed to, uh, and then we have good lights. But one thing I'll say again, I cannot continue to say just how great the build quality of this is. This is solid. I mean, it is, it's nice compared to what I'm used to seeing. So, uh, definitely a good find on Amazon. I'll put the link below. Uh, what I'm going to do now though, is I need to straighten this rat nest out. This is just absolutely crazy. Uh, my fan does work like it's supposed to. I was a little bit concerned about that. It only turns on when the high beams are on. So I guess, you know, increased load, they need to cool it down. So let me fix this. And we'll come back to having all this squared away. I'll work on reassembling all this stuff and then we'll break once more and then we'll do like a quick review to see how the lights look from the front. So be right back one more time, two more times, and then we'll see how the final product looks. Okay. And we're back. This is the final product. <clears throat> Got the top put back together, got all the wiring put in back into place, cleaned up the loom as best as I could, pretty much just did some zip ties and whatnot, so everything's pretty much uh, looking good in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing bundled up and then we can get a final look uh, and then hopefully, with any luck, everything looks good. Alright, back in a minute. <clears throat> Alright folks, back together. Everything's looking pretty good. If this is working right, what we should see is the uh, daytime running daytime running lights blink a few times, and then they should say solid. And then what I imagine is once we hit the turning signal, it'll either switch or stay on. I don't know. We'll take a look and see. So let's go ahead and give it some power. Okay. Those are surprisingly bright. I'm not gonna lie. Those are way brighter than I thought they would be. Headlights not on though. Interesting. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, well, we'll have to sort that out. Turn signal. Okay. All right. Back on. Wow, I'm uh, I'm super happy about that. 
except for my headlight. Not sure why that's not working. Um, other than that, though, uh, these are definitely pretty solid. Um, I need to work on the backs. I got to figure out what I'm going to do for that. That's going to be a little bit more trouble because, let's be honest, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with the back. And I have a idea of what I plan on doing. Still trying to figure that part out. So uh, more to follow on that. I'm going to fix this headlight. And that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.